Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Civil Four Four. So I just got back from home from work, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my reaction to the new Champions League format, guys. And um, oh boy, man, there's lots to talk. So let's go ahead and get started, man. Let's go ahead and get started. So, how will the Champions League format change in 2003 versus 2025? The pivotal change to reform is announced, but is a departure from the current group system to 32 teams to 36. And so, basically, we're going to have a single league competition, which all 36 clubs are ranked together. Under the new format, teams will play eight matches in a new league phase. They will no longer play three opponents twice, home and away, but it will instead face fixtures against eight different teams, playing half of those at home and half of them away. Okay, just hearing that just makes it so dumb. Why in the earth would you only play half of the games at home and half of the games away? I understand why they didn't do both home and around Robin, because if they had done run Robin, there would be way too many fixtures. But it, maybe instead of doing that, maybe just reduce the number of teams to play against. That would have been a smarter option. Like, just like it's just so dumb. Okay, let's just continue. To determine the eight drawn different opponents, the teams will be initially uh, ranked and four seeding pots. Each team will then be drawn to play two opponents from each of those pots, playing one match against a team from each pot at home and one away. So at least that's good. With the new format, at least we're going to see some heavyweight matchups in the uh, group stage. We're going to see Man City versus Real Madrid. We're going to see those kind of matchups, which is nice, I suppose. This gives opportunity for clubs to test themselves against a wider range of opponents and raise the prospect for fans seeing the top teams go head-to-head -head more often early in the competition. Also result in more competitive matches for every club across the board. Okay, how the four extra champions in group stage slots be, a slot, uh, be allocated? So as you can see right here, the slot one is going to basically go to the club ranked third in the championship of the associations and fifth position the access list, which is determined the way for club association club ranking. Uh, then the second slot two is that the phase will be awarding to the domestic champion be extended from four to five. And our qualifier being the champions about the champion competition's qualifying process, will, which will consist of four qualifying rounds. Uh, slot three and four is basically the two highest ranked. Uh, so these places will go to those associated with the best collective programs of the clubs in the previous season. Uh, those two associates will earn an automatic place in the league phase, European performance boss. So the clubs ranked next best of domestic leagues behind those clubs who have already qualified directly for the league phase. Essentially, it's basically saying the top two leagues that perform well in Europe, basically, they're going to get extra slots. So basically, like top five La Liga, top five EPL. It would basically be like that. All right. How will the teams reach their knockout phase and will the form of the knockout phase change? The result of, um, the result of each match will, this, will this stay the same. Three points for a win, one point for a draw. Top eight sides will automatically qualify for round of 16. Okay, that's actually interesting. So it's basically like the Europa League where essentially you have the group winners directly advanced to the round of 16. Uh, while the teams finishing 9th to 24th will compete at two legged knockout phase playoff ties to secure the pads last six of the competition. Now, that aspect I think is good. I think it's actually good to see uh, matches between those teams. You know, sort of like what the uh, Europa League has done. You know, got the Champions League places against the second place Europa League teams. I actually think that's a great idea. And the Champions League is not going to implement that. Teams that finish 25th or lower will be eliminated with no access to your, your UEFA Europa League. So, my question is that the teams that finish 9th to 16th, are they going to be in the Europa League? Like, that I'm not sure of. It didn't specify here. The new format with all the teams ranked together uh, in a single league, which uh, which will mean that there's more to play for the, all the final night of the league phase. The knockout phase teams that finish 9th to 16th will be seeing the knockout phase playoff draw, meaning they'll be playing against 17th to 24th with the principle of the return leg at home. The eight clubs which will prevail in knock round playoffs, knock and face playoffs will then progress around the 16. Where they'll be playing against one of the top eight finishers will be seeded around the 16. To strengthen the synergy between the league and knock up phase, um, and to provide more experience into doing the league phase, the parents' knock up stage will be determined the league phase ranking. With the draw also likely with the draw, which likewise will determine and lay out uh, the route to the teams to reach the final for the round of 16. It will just be like the normal format onwards. Okay. All games and all games before the final will continue to be played midweek. Rising the importance of domestic games count in domestic calendar games across Europe, where the final will continue to be played on Saturday. Okay, now what about for the Europa Europa League and Conference League? Yes, yeah, similar formats will also be applied to UEFA Europa League, um, and the Conference League, which will be called the UEFA Conference League as of 2024, 2025. Six matches, therefore six different opponents in the league phase, with both competitions also featuring 36 teams in the league phase. And so yeah, basically it's also talking about how the new format is gonna um how it's gonna um. Uh, it's going to talk about where the, the games are going to take place. So as you can see, it's going to take place between September and January. Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League is going to take place between September and December. And this will be one exclusive match week uh, for the European competition. So that's actually kind of nice. You know, the Champions League will be uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, while Europa League will uh, be uh, Thursday. And the Champions League will have an exclusive week. It's only Champions League games. 
which I actually like. I actually like that. It's actually nice, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so overall, guys, what's my overall thoughts? It's both good and bad. There are some things I like about the new format. There are some things I don't like. For example, things I don't like is the fact that teams don't going to play home and away against each other. There's too many fixtures. Another thing I also don't I do like about this is that um you get to see um you get to see some heavy matchups in group stage, which is I guess good. Uh, but then obviously the other good thing about this is that uh teams that it, it fin- didn't do so well in the twenty like twenty fifth to thirty sixth have no chance to get Europa League. So that is something I don't like is that I'm not really a huge fan of like teams dropping down. I'm not really a huge fan of that because. It just, it just feel like for me, it's not well earned. You know, like you're not supposed to be in this competition yet. You're still in it. So yeah, man, um, it is what it is. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the comments below, because for me personally, I'm still against the format. I don't really think it's necessary, but you know, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. We just have to accept it. And who knows, maybe it will be better than we expect. We see, man. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.